I need your help. There's only one way for me to figure this out and it's to ask you guys. Okay, I'm gonna try this out. I don't know if it's gonna work, but when I snap my fingers, I should be dressed. Three, two, one. Okay, that was a lot easier than usual. One second, I'll be right there. And bam! Okay, so it's currently Thursday, so I'm gonna start off the day how I usually start off, and it's going to the gym. Now, I am trying something a bit different in the gym. I've been going to the gym for quite a bit, but I always try to improve and make sure I'm doing things correctly and, you know, trying to either avoid injury or trying to get the maximum capacity out of my body. Does that even make sense? I hope it does. So, usually today, I will be just doing my ab workout and then cardio, and that's it. I am gonna do chest again because I did learn a couple things, and I would like to put those things into use because maybe I can fully activate and do all that because that's honestly something that I struggle with. So hopefully I can use these new tips and it just works out so much better for me. But guys, before we get into the rest of the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share the channel because it helps me out tremendously. Since this is going up on a Friday, I hope you guys had an amazing week. I hope everything went your way and if it didn't, I'm very sorry that it didn't, but weekend's here, chill out, do whatever you want. I say this all the time because some people just need to hear it. So anyways, let's go to the gym. Oof, it's nice out today. Ain't nothing better than an empty gym all to myself. You wanna know something funny about those transitions that I do? I don't look necessarily the best when I do them. I'm literally redoing everything like two to three times. So when you see me go up the stairs, I had to set up the camera, go back up, go back down. Sometimes that doesn't look right, so that I go back up and go back down. Anyone saw me do that, I definitely look a little odd. But it does look cool. I'll give you guys that. Okay, so I tried out the chest workout in a different form and all that. You go hurts a little bit but in the video they did say don't let your ego get the best of you because you most likely since you're doing it in super proper form now that the weight will fluctuate you'll probably end up having to go down which is true usually i do 30 dumbbells it was just getting too much for me so ego hurts a little bit but i'd rather go down in weight and actually do it properly properly than go up and up and up and me still doing it wrong and risking injury and all that stuff. So it's good to figure things out beforehand and then later because if I figured it out later, it would have been with me being injured. So that is tried out. Now I get to do my ab workout and cardio. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Run is officially complete. Did what I usually do, 20 minute, five miles per hour pace, nonstop, just keep going. I don't really see the sweat in the front, but th there's there's stuff on the back. There's a lot more there, it's soaking back there. Oh good, got that out of the way. Now I need to go home and eat because I am starving. Okay, I was supposed to show you guys my food. I completely forgot. If I'm honest, I drank my shake within literally probably a minute. I was supposed to show you that. Obviously that didn't happen. Well, it's inside me now, so it's a little hard to show. I did make myself a chicken sandwich. For me, after a workout, it was just, it's, it's, it's perfect. I don't know what it is. It fills me up perfectly. With the milkshake, it just all works out for me just beautifully. Now I'm gonna eat. Then I need a shower because I'm all sweaty and shit and I need to figure that out. I don't know what else I'm gonna do today, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so this part of the vlog, the main part of the vlog actually involves you guys. I need your help. There's only one way for me to figure this out and it's to ask you guys whether or not you guys answer. I, you know what, it's fine. Don't feel obligated to, but I wanted to know how certain things have gone in the channel, right? I'm talking about editing. Obviously my editing has changed a good amount here and there. I either add things, I take away things, or I implement new things and then I don't do new things. And it's kind of like, I don't know whether or not those things were even working. I can look at the analytics all I want, but the analytics won't tell me that. You guys will. I used to add subtitles like here and there to certain clips of the video. I don't do that anymore. Not because it takes time or anything. I, I don't know, for me, I didn't really see a huge difference other than when I first started doing it. It wasn't until
until after a couple of videos where I was just like, okay, like, does this really benefit the video? So that's one thing. Should I add subtitles back into the videos? Just little ones, just here and there. Number two, the little preview thing that I've been doing in the past couple of my videos, not a couple, a lot of my videos actually. I've been putting in a couple clips from the video and I put it in the front of the video. Give you guys a little sneak peek of what's happening and what the video will bring to you and make you hopefully watch it. Don't know if that's been official. Don't know if you guys even like that. So if you do like that, again, let me know with the subtitles. And I guess number three, whole transitioning thing, like how I do sometimes in my vlogs, especially if I go out, sometimes it's just very cut here, 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 here. But then also the transitions that I did earlier today with me going downstairs and doing things like that, just little things to add more to the videos. Does that matter to you guys? Does it look cool? Again, don't feel obligated to comment, but it would definitely help me on those three things, whether or not it's even worth doing or actually worth putting back in because I'm just kind of going off what I think and what I think doesn't necessarily mean what everyone else thinks. And I know at the end of the day, I obviously control everything. I, I am the person uploading and editing everything, but you guys are the one watching. So I wanted to know if those three things are something that was like, oh damn, he doesn't do that anymore. Like that kind of sucks. Or like, it doesn't want, it's literally whatever. I don't give a fuck. Just, you know, just let it rock kind of thing. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't know. I just kind of want an opinion from you guys. Okay, so one thing I just thought of, and I think it's a lot easier. Rather one of you guys is commenting. I'm going to leave three comments. One's gonna say transitions. One's gonna say previews, one's gonna say subtitles. If you like the comment, that means yes, you do want it. If you dislike the comment, that means no, you don't want it or you don't really care. Obviously you can type, you're free to type whatever you want. It's just a lot easier for people just to click a like or dislike button on the comments. What are the comments right now? It'll be three comments again, whichever one you guys want, like or dislike the comment. Don't get the video mixed up with the comment, all right? Anyways guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. The video's almost done and edited. It's about like six o'clock right here. I wanna finish editing and eat something and kind of just hang out. Anyways guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share the channel because it helps me out tremendously this video is going up on friday so i'll talk to you guys all the way back on monday and peace out everyone